in Tucson unless you visit the Reed Park Zoo, where they will soon be seen in the new alligator exhibit. Jed Dodds has more in today's zoo for you. We have got some new construction here at Reed Park Zoo, and to tell us a little bit more about that is our curator, Sue. Sue, we are standing in a brand new habitat, but who is it for? Well, Jed, this habitat's for our American alligator. Now, we don't have an alligator yet, so what's the plan on that? So, we're still finishing up with construction. Simrock um, has finished the rock work and the pool for the alligator. However, the containment, so the fencing is still going in. We also don't want to transition an alligator to Tucson in the middle of winter, so March is when we expect our alligator to arrive. Now, there's a lot that we had to do to get ready for this habitat. Um, I mean, it looks fabulous and, and almost ready, but what are some of the things that you had to think about to bring in an alligator? Okay, so alligators, you know they live in swampy, marshy areas, so we needed to create the perfect kind of pool. And ideally, we wanted a pool that we would be able to keep the gator in year-round. So even in our chilly, chilly winters, we have the ability to heat the pool just enough so our gator will be available to our guests year-round. We wanted shallow areas and easy pull out so the gator could easily get out of the pool. And then alligators really prefer um, areas where they feel camouflage. So visitors will see the pools painted multiple colors so that the animal can feel as though he's blending in. So there's a lot of uh, conservation that goes along with alligators too. Tell us a little bit more about that. Sure, Shed. So alligators were um, threatened. However, now they are not. So their populations are in good number. Um, but they have a fascinating story that we will be just delighted to share with our guests when they come. Now, you've also designed this habitat so that the alligator can't climb? I didn't even know alligators climb. Alligators are actually excellent climbers, especially the shorter, the smaller gators. So they have a great ability. So you'll notice our fencing around the habitat has a cantilever or an inverted uh, section of fence so that the gator cannot escape. Well, it sounds like we've thought about everything to get this gator nice and healthy here at the Reed Park Zoo. We can't wait till it comes, so we'll look for him during the spring. So thank you, Sue, for letting us know a little bit more about our alligator. And if you'd like any more information about alligators or any other animal here at the Reed Park Zoo, you can always go to our website at reedparkzoo.org and check it out there. That's going to do it for this episode. I'm Jed Dodds bringing the zoo to you.